Hello students, welcome back to our lesson. Today, we are going to have a new story. Please be ready with your reading street book, your readers and writers notebook, English copybook, and your pen. For our objectives today, A. Define vocabulary words. B. Discuss the elements of the story. And C. Read the story, The Dinosaurs of Waterhouse Hawkins. Before we begin with our story today, let us first have a quick revision of our lesson last week. What is the difference between scanning and skimming? To scan is to move one's eyes quickly down the page, seeking specific words and phrases. To skim a document is to read the first and last paragraphs, as well as to use headings, summaries, and other organizers as you move down the page. Today's story is The Dinosaurs of Waterhouse Hawkins. Before we begin reading the story, let us first discuss the elements. The Elements of the Story The title of our story today is The Dinosaurs of Waterhouse Hawkins. It is written by Barbara Curley. This story is an example of a biography. A biography is a story of a person's life written by another person. This story happened in London in the year 1853. The main characters of the story are Benjamin Waterhouse Hawkins and Richard Owen. Now that we know the elements of the story, it is time to know the new set of vocabulary words. Say the word after me. Our first word is erected. Foundations. Mold. Occasion. Proportion Tidied And lastly, we have the word workshop. Let us now discuss each word. The first word is erected. Erected is a word that means put up or built. They have erected a new building. Our second word is the word foundations. Foundations are parts on which other parts rest for support. Or, it's also a word that means basis. The men are putting up the foundations of the house. Our next word is the word mold. Mold is a hollow shape in which things are formed, cast, or solidified. The mold has the exact star shape for the cake. Then we have the word occasion. 
occasion is a special event. There will be a party to celebrate the occasion. Our next word is the word proportion. Proportion means proper relation between parts. You must measure carefully to be sure the proportion of the wings to the body is just right. Then we have the word tidied, means put in order, or it also means made neat. Sample sentence, after it hardens, any crumbs of cement and plastic must be tidied up. And lastly, the word is workshop. Workshop means shop or building where work is done. I am a cashier in our workshop. I hope that you've learned all our vocabulary words today. For our activity, Please open your Readers and Writers Notebook on page 202. Vocabulary Directions Draw a line to connect each word on the left to the matching definition on the right. Number 1. Proportion Number 2. Foundations. Number three, erected. Number four, workshop. And number five, occasion. For numbers six to ten, choose the word from the box that best completes each sentence. Write the word on the line to the left. Number six, Julia poured plaster into a a blank shape like a bird. Number seven. She was creating a statue for a special event or blank. Number eight. We or built a statue in front of the new library. Number nine. When she finished making the bird, her blank was a mess. And number 10, she likes to wipe up the dust made by the plaster and black her workbench before she goes home. Please pause this video and take time to answer this page. It's now time to check your answers. Let's begin with number one. Proportion is a proper relation among parts. Number two, foundations, parts on which other parts rest for support. Number three, erected means put up or built. Number four, workshop means space or building where work is done. And number five, occasion is a special event. Number six, Julia poured plaster into a mold shaped like a bird. Seven, she was creating a statue for a special event or occasion. Number eight, we erected or built a statue in front of the new library. Number nine, when she finished making the bird, her workshop was a mess. And number 10, she likes to wipe up the dust made by the plaster and tidy her workbench before she goes home. That's excellent. Now, Let's begin reading our new story. 
To read the story, kindly open your Reading Street book on pages 396 to 411. Remember, when you read the story, make sure that you understand each paragraph. If you want to listen to the story, please type the title of The Story, The Dinosaurs of Waterhouse Hawkins in your YouTube browser. Or, you may copy and write this link in your YouTube browser to find the correct story. That's all for today, students. Thank you very much for joining me today. Have a great day and see you again next time.